Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the list in HTML. So there are two kind of main lists we can make the ordered list and the unordered list. Both have different purposes and uh, it's about you, which you're going to use at what point. Anyway, the unordered list will be used in the navigation bar, even in this course later. But by now, I'm going to make the ordered list for you. So you would understand how it works, actually how the listing works. Then later, you would be able to make it uh, ordered or unordered too. Anyway, for the ordered list, you need to write OL, the ordered list. Now, it's very simple. You can see that. Now, you need to put some data like uh, the list items. For the each item of the list, you need to write LI. In a single LI tag, you add a single item. For example, here I'm adding friends. Okay, I'm going down, li, family, another one. So these are the lists I'm making. Li, one li is equal to the one item of the list. Friends, families, pals, whatever I'm getting in my mind. I'm just writing that because I just wanted to make a list. Yeah, relatives, best friends. Anyway, save it. Now I need to go to the browser to check what I did. Here, this is what I did friends, family, pal, whatever. You can see that there is one, two, three, four, five, actually the numbers because this is the ordered list. So you can see the numbers here. Now there are many other things you can do with the OL. I'm going to do one thing by using the type attribute here, type. Okay. Now, for example, it's showing the number to us. If I write one here, so the type of the, the ordered list would be one two three but if i just add a here it would be a b c let's check now you can see that it is a b and c and d and e so that means it is actually working fine and uh, the types are working now i'm going back now I'm, I'm writing here i and saving it now refreshing it again now you can see that the roman numbers one two three four five so this is how it works a few more tweaks let's discuss if you write it in a capital I then it would be capital language you can see that in the same way if you type capital A it would be the capital A B C D E so I think this is the basic things of the O L and the A L and here also I want to start it from one two three I want to start it from three okay so I'm going there, refresh that. Now it's starting from C. However, I just chose the type as A, but ultimately it's programmatically, it, it's number. These are numbers, one, two, three. So I want to start from the number third, which is C by now. I mean, A, B, C. So it's starting from C. But one more thing. What if I make the value of this element as D or C, save it refresh that now you can see that the friends now because I just made the value of the friend as C so now it's just starting from the C D E F G if I make the value of it as E now refresh that it's, it's still starting with the so I think it is simple and we got it very greatly but there are some more steps when we talk about the lists and we're gonna discuss those steps in the next lecture we're gonna learn how we can even nest these things and if we nest them, we are going to have some different values and some different results. So till then, stay tuned.